Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, before I start this video, I'd like to thank Matt Toons and Ricky Just Us for subscribing. And I'd also like to thank Geek Robot and Ricky Just Us for your kind comments on my videos this week. Thank you very much. Uh, if you'd like a if you'd like a shout out on my channel, do uh, do feel free just to uh, like, share, subscribe. Our um, if you just like, share, subscribe, and that that should that that should get that should get you a shout out on the channel. So and and I normally I normally subscribe back, providing your content um, isn't too out there. If you know if you know if you know what I mean, but. We'll get on with this video here. Um, I'll be reviewing um, the Lego Marvel set Rockets War, Rockets Warbird versus Ronan, which is Ronan the Accuser. This is from the Guardians, of the, one of the Guardians of the Galaxy films, I think. But if if it isn't, it, it's it's still a really good build. So you've got Rocket versus Ronan, which is brilliant. Not the Ronan from the Captain Marvel films, because I think he may have died in the other one. I can't remember, but. But it was a different Ronan. But so it comes with a nice little instruction manual here, and you have Rocket walks you through the um, walks you through the build, which is really quite cool. But here we have the Ronan the Accuser figure, which is really really nice, and it's got they, they they've done a good job with the hammer here, really. To be honest with you, for the for the price point of the figure, they have done a really good job. The figure is that quite good. It's got like a Palpatine type hood, or the Emperor from Star Wars, and then he's got um, it's a really really nice design on the body, as you can see. And there's some design on the back as well. Has two faces. He has a slightly irked face and an angry face, mind you. He is like the Chief Justice person on Kree, so he's not going to be a happy chappy, is he? Let's be honest. So we'll put Ronan over here, very nice little figure. Could be a Doctor Doom type hood as well. I wouldn't be surprised if that gets used for a Doctor Doom build. Next we have Rocket's Warbird. This is really, really nice as you can see. It's got um, a lot, it does have a lot going for it. But before we go any further, we'll show you the Rocket figure. It's just Rocket in his Guardians outfit. Got a pre-molded, got a molded head, got a blaster as well, got a rubber tail bit, which is quite cool. And he's got his legs are set, his legs don't move, which is a bit which is a bit let down, but at the price point of the set, um, you can't really complain. So it does it does look quite cool. And he go he go it's got a little cockpit in there, and his cockpit is really cool. He's got a little control panel in there. That is really, really nice. It's a good, solid build. This is. You hold it in your hand. It does. It, it won't break in your hands. It will break if you drop it, like most Lego. But, um, but, but generally, it does. It does feel quite solid in your hands. It's got. It looks really good. They've gone. They've gone all out on the detailing on this ship as well. Especially at the price point as well. You can't. I just can't find anything that wrong with it. To be honest with you. It, 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 this is actually one of those sets I'm, I'm, I'm really glad I've built. And he attaches, he goes in here, and then you put his blast, his blaster has to go in the bottom here, like that. And then his ship can go like that. It, it does look really good. Ronan can fly in space apparently, so I do, I'm not sure how, how true that is, but um, but I'm not 100 percent sure on the authenticity of that, but it does. But then again, as for play value, it does it does work. It also comes with some apart from the really nice colour scheme, the colours on it, it's a very colourful ship. It's a very heavy, very heavily articulated. It's got like engines here, engines here, weapons, weaponized up to the max, which is really cool. You've got these red um, these red projectile things here that fire out like that which is really cool you got you do you do have a spare one as well with, with the build as well so that works really well and then you have these studs the where these I'll just give you a close-up on these on these stud shooters here so when they fire let me see if it gets to fire in A 
as you see, don't know if you quite saw that, but I'll try it again just for good measure. There's a bit in here that enables these studs to actually fire when you actually, as you can hear, you can hear they do fire off and they are, and they are actually, and it is actually quite good. So, as, so, so it does have really good play value, I do find. I, do, I could find myself, I could probably play with this for quite some time, to be honest with you. If, if, if I had the time to play with this, I did this, this is a build I probably would actually, um, I, I, I probably would play, I, I probably would play with this with, with, with my normal Lego or just, or maybe a Lego space build of this would be quite cool, but do it in the gray and the, maybe in the blue maybe or something like that, all in gray, that would look really cool with the space logo on, but probably doesn't need to be this weaponized, but Still, I do like it. It's got some nice Technic stuff. They put some nice Technic bits in there as well to make it to make it all go together. And they've got some nice, there are some really nice bricks they've actually used on this set to actually make it work. So you are, you, you are actually getting your money's worth um, off this build. And this, it's, just, it's just a really nice little build. You have it in your hand, you're thinking, this is what you call solid. This is good solid Lego. And it works and it does really does work. But can't, I can't say can't say enough good things about this. There's enough cool bricks in it. Um, at the price point it's at, um, I got it at a good price like I normally do because I've got a good price off my Lego man. So and for the figures it's got as well, um, I, I, I would probably de I, would, I would definitely keep the figures if it. Um, if I don't end up keeping the set because um, because it does look good and if I had someone to display it, I definitely would. So, so I, do, I can't say enough good things about this set. I was a bit, I see these sets, I think they're a bit like um, Lego's, Lego or Disney trying to make money, but yes, they are, but, but Lego have done a good job on it and it's a good solid build, it's fun, it's solid, it's, it flies. If you want a Guardian, a spaceship to play Guardian of the Galaxy with, um, this would be this would be a good one to get, um, especially at the price point it is. So I can't say enough good things about this set. So if you get a chance to get this set, uh, if you get a chance to get this set and you're a Marvel fan, you will love it. That's all I can really say. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any comments or feedback on this video, do feel free to add them at the end of the video and I will try to give you a mention or shout out on an upcoming video. If you can support the channel in any way by like, sharing or subscribing, that would be very, very much appreciated. I'm on YouTube, Instagram and Threads. I would like to thank anyone who has put likes on because uh, I don't always see them, but I don't always see them, but they are always appreciated. And the more support I get for the channel, um, the best sets I can get for the channel um, in, um, in the future. So stay safe, keep building, make my marvel, and hope to see you on an upcoming video. Thank you for watching.